Hello and welcome to the finale of the Diet Dr. Pepper series. It has been a fantastic season. So much fun. So much clean racing for the most part. Tons of races going green all the way. And uh, we're bringing it down to the final race here at Homestead. And of course in the Gen 4 car as usual. So we're going to do some qualifying here. I've got my settings how I want, I think. Yeah, that's looking good. So going to do our best. I didn't get to really practice at all. Um, I practiced before the race here uh, in the once I got in the session, but really didn't have time before that. And um, also, uh, I've got a little bit of some audio changes here, which hopefully sound better. I made some changes to hopefully eliminate some of the noise from my equipment, like my uh, steering wheel pedals and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of those completely, but uh, on uh, Nick's Discord, I got some uh, advice for ways to uh, help some of the background noise and make uh, things sound a little clearer, so that was really nice uh, for them to help out with that on there. I think it was... Oh, I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I remember who it was, but I don't want to like misattribute, so I'm going to look in a second and be like, thank you to so-and-so for helping out. The track feels really weird, by the way. It's so unbelievably tight in 1 and 2, much more than I'm used to. P3. That was a so that's kind of strange. A new fastest lap for Hedda, so maybe not as fast as I'd like to be, but just done a this is what we've got so far. The car ahead has just done a 33.2. All right, we'll go about a tenth faster, a little under a tenth faster the next lap. Let's see where that brings us. Fifth for now. That's okay. Like I said, I hadn't really done much practice, so I'm going to be content with that. It's a good starting spot. Uh, Tracy up there got into the 32s. And some other familiar names of very fast drivers, as we'll do a practice pit in now. Oh, whoa, okay, 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 What's easy now. <laughs> Maybe not uh, exactly how I wanted that to go, but that'll work. I was a little aggressive there, so I'll keep that in mind. We have actually already wrapped up the championship last week, and that was at Phoenix. So um, we have uh, entered the final race with that already wrapped up, and we could just focus on having a fun race. Uh, I don't know if winning is going to be on the table, but we'll try. We'll give it our best run and see what happens and uh, wrap up with a great race, I hope, for the season for a fantastic league. Thank you so much to Gavin for putting it on. Um, it has been just a great time uh, to have clean racing in a way that you just almost never see in officials, especially with the Gen 4 car, which can have some pretty messy races sometimes in official racing. To have that and to be able to do it for full-length races is just so cool. So. We'll give a good luck all here as we uh, still have another minute to go, but uh oh, a couple people with uh, some connection issues. Hopefully that doesn't cause anyone any problems. Um, we've uh, looks like we're waiting on Nick, John and Jeremy's not here, but I bet if uh, if everybody's ready, Gavin will just move it on ahead. Wonder if Nick is planning on qualifying or not. Looks like he hasn't put any laps in. But we've only got 15 seconds left anyway, so nothing to worry about. And uh, I don't have them muted, do I? Nope, just a little bit quiet on a uh, mic, at least. And uh, like I said, hopefully my mic sounds good. Um, might have to do some minor adjustments to the levels and everything. 
um, after I made some changes. So hopefully it's not too bad, and hopefully, if anything, it's better. Um, oh, right, that's right. I wanted to <laughs> make sure that I uh, said thank you to the proper person. Um, let's see here. It would be, I, I asked in the hardware section. <laughs> Um, yes, Jeff Kendrick. Yes, that's who I thought. He's also the, uh, the guy that does OSR, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he was, uh, he shared with me Sonar, which is part of, um, a bigger thing called Steel Series, I guess. Um, I'd never heard of it, and it apparently helps eliminate some of the background noise, like keyboard rattling and tapping and all the good stuff <laughs> like that. So, um, in my testing, it seemed to work really nicely. And uh, that, that'll be very nice, I think, to have. I was thinking about getting some headphones. Oh, that's maybe why Nick didn't, Watch your mirrors. <laughs> didn't qualify. He's having connection issues, like a couple other guys are. That's not good. Hopefully he's able to get back in time. But, uh, yeah, I was looking for some headphones. That's why I was in the hardware section of the, of the Discord. And uh, the main reason I wanted to do that is so I could put my microphone closer to my face. <laughs> Come back, Nick. Yeah. Um, I have it closer to my face so I could more aggressively tune out some of the background noises because as it stands right now, my microphone's on the desk and my steering wheel is in between me and the microphone. So it's kind of uh, hard to remove the background sound if it's so prominent. But maybe this program will help. We'll see. Gonna have to get used to the uh, race pace. Really uh, easy to overdrive, it feels like, but also very, very loose on exit. It seems like it's gonna be very challenging. Just done a New fastest lap for I think we're gonna break pretty big into the corners, make sure we can get to the bottom here and then uh, be easy on it as we go through the corner. I think we're gonna wanna save a little bit of fuel. In fact, I'm gonna hop out here in a second. Where'd he go? Okay. I'm gonna hop out here in a second and see what our, I guess I don't need to do that. We're gonna see how much fuel we're estimated to have because I think we have to make it about 45 laps. Does a car leave in the pit lane? Hopefully not. <laughs> P3, you've just done a 33.3. So that's probably what my line's gonna look like during race pace. Kind of taking, uh, taking the bottom and then being gentle on exit as well because I think the rear tires could get upset if I don't. That's the end of the session, P3. And uh, we're ready to get gridded up. 134 laps, so um, if you do the math, comes up to want to get about 45, um, 44 at minimum laps. And you'll see here, 43.6. We might have to save a little bit of fuel. I think it should be doable. But uh, just like many races this season, it seems like fuel mileage is going to be a thing. The track temp is so, like I was saying, temp is many thanks to Gavin. Um, P5. Awesome stuff. We're going to be saving fuel right from the start here as we start in P5. I'm going to take the access road on exit here. Catch up to car number 85. Shortest way around. Looks like these guys have a similar idea. They're also saving some fuel, I think, judging by how slowly they're moving off. I'm gonna make sure I'm caught up though, I don't want to cause any accordion effects or anything. I 
We're going to be doing big lifts off. Rolling through the corner. I don't think we have to lift quite as large as some other places we've had to in the past, but I could be wrong. We are short of the 45 lap mark right now. So we're going to see how the uh, the fuel changes over time. Second gear. Tracy usually likes to do pretty early starts. So we'll be ready for that. Watch for the lights. Go, go, go. Oop. Cold tires, very treacherous, gotta be careful. A little bit on ice there in the first couple of corners. All right, and a nice smooth lap one. Being easy with the uh, fuel mileage should be nice on our long run as well, so that'll be good. Ooh, you know, getting a little bit loose, maybe into the wall there. The leader has just done a 33.2. The guy behind has just done a 33.4. The car ahead has just done a 33.4. Just gonna be tiptoeing around this place early on here. Wow, it's so loose. That's crazy. I barely had any throttle in it and it was still kind of pitching sideways. Kind of crazy. Fastest lap for header, 33.2. A little bit of blinking from John up there. Not too unusual, but not bad enough. I don't think it's going to cause any issues. As long as he stays on screen long enough that we can tell where he is. Not too big of a deal. We're on track to make it to 45, it looks like. Your lap time was at 33.7. Got Chuck behind us. I'll definitely let him go if he wants to go. I'm just going extra easy right now. was a 33.7 there's a little bit of clutch in three and four it seems like we've got some better grip in three and four I think the wind is actually making turns one and two a lot tighter and so you can kind of enter it three or four a little harder and that's why I'm kind of using my clutch over there because uh, without your engine braking entering the corner you're gonna enter faster and you can get away with that better over there so that's why I'm kind of just doing it over there for now in three and four and not in one and two It was honestly a bit of a struggle trying to figure out one and two in practice because right, it's just so much tighter than I'm used to. And I think it's like 15 mile an hour wind heading just straight uh, into one and two, like pushing your car to the wall or something like that.
So that's all very interesting. I'm just going to keep on the bottom, I think, as this thing goes on. At least until uh, I'm satisfied on the fuel. It looks like we should be able to make it to 45 easily. That's looking a lot better than I expected. So maybe we uh, forego the clutching. Maybe not necessary. Right up to the back of Ian right now. Keeping it smooth. Just want to have a nice solid finish to wrap up the season here. I think that's kind of my goal. Doesn't need to be anything too flashy. Christy looking really fast early. He's dri driven away with it. I thought at first that would be bad for him if he wasn't going to be able to make the uh, fuel require. Requir oh my god. I am sorry requirements, but, uh, oh, I hit the apron, by the way. That was terrible. Well, what I'm doing, talking instead of driving, is what I'm doing. Your lap time was struggling to say a word and struggling to drive. Brain just stopped working for a moment. But uh, I was worried Tracy was not going be to be able to make the required time, uh, fuel amount, anyway. But uh, com considering how easily we're looking like we're going to make it, he's probably okay up there. I'll look again here in a second, too, though. Yeah, so we're going to be o well over 45, which was, was the, uh, the goal. Side by side here for second place. The car in front is Sass. Then we'll get the run off the top. Not looking to uh, lose any track position, it looks like. That lap time was 34.2. Yeah, he's not interested in losing any spots, I guess, so that's all right. I don't want to fight too hard for it, to be honest. Just gonna hold that high line and prevent us from clearing. That last lap was a I feel like that line's going to be worse on his tires, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'll just let him work out there, and hopefully we don't lose too much time doing it.
we've just done a 34.4. I think if I want to get by him, I'm going to have to go higher up the track. But again, I'm not really trying too hard right now. Just going to keep on this bottom line, see if it happens. But if not, it's not a huge deal. I just don't want to waste my right front. Work on that outside lane. If I don't have to. Times are pretty consistent. Right rear is definitely uh, not wanting to grip up. Even the littlest bit of throttle, I can feel it pitching sideways. Finally, clear him. I think he backed off, probably. Wasn't interested in battling anymore. <laughs> Used up a lot of time, but hopefully not too much tire, since I was going easy on it. Ooh. Really throwing me for a loop there. That lap was a... 34.5 Are we on fuel? Still looking okay. Just done a 34.5. Okay, getting to Ian now. Backing off, I think, so we will take that. Now P2. Got Tracy way ahead, though. Entering a little hard into three now, I think. It feels like it's pushing just a little bit too much. P2, the gap to header ahead is now 2.9 seconds. Okay, Colton, you've used half your fuel. Your lap times are pretty consistent. About halfway through the fuel run, apparently. Chuck has been following us through, it seems. Really loose on exit. Had to be very, very gentle with the throttle. Not a good corner there. I don't know what I did wrong, but it was not good. P2. 
Gracie's still pretty much holding that same distance ahead. The race has been fantastic, by the way. Green the whole way so far. Chuck's got better stuff right now, I think. I think I gotta do the exits lower. I think that would help me out. Your last lap time was at thirty-four point nine. Was at 34.9. P3. Tried the high line, did not work. Yeah, that did not work at all. That's all right. That lap was a 35.2. Try it again in case it was a fluke. But yeah, I don't think that's happening. Warren behind us in fourth. That's he's having a great run. I'm gonna go back to the bottom though. A little disappointing. I was hoping we could run the top. Didn't seem to want to happen, though. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. That was a uh, 35.1. That's so tight. Hey, we can make it to about lap 47, it looks like. That lap time was Not bad at all. I think I need a wider entrance to 3 and 4. I kind of did a more shallow entrance to one and two last lap, and I liked it, but three and four, not really feeling it quite as much. Man, Homestead is such a difficult track. Hard to even describe what makes it difficult. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. But Keep it it up. really is. Oh my god, that was terrible. Very, very loose on the, out of the corner. It wasn't even putting that much throttle in it, I didn't feel like, but... Oh my god, why is it doing that to me? It's like trying to snap.
really struggling to get the uh, power down. Whoa, he keeps entering really hard. It scared me a little bit. I think he's probably got the spot. He's got much better long run than I do. He looks like he's got that car so much more under control than what I've got under the under the hood, I guess. Under the steering wheel. I don't know. What would you say? I guess it's the tires that are bothering me, so what? Under the uh under the chassis? <laughs> I don't know. I am just on the struggle bus though. P4. Having a rough one. 35 Gonna try driving in harder like I kind of saw he was doing. I remember kind of that working in the past, almost like a slider line. I want to see how that feels for us here. It does seem like we're gaining some time doing that. Maybe even out these right sides too, because I f swear that right rear is much worse. All right, Colton. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Yeah, this driving in harder is working much better, I think. Full course caution. Watch out. Oh wow, a yellow. That's very interesting. Did not expect that coming up on pit time. Looks like, uh, oh, it's hard to say. Got a bunch of cars in front of us. We're definitely taking uh, tires, filling it full of fuel. We're under caution. Pit's closed. This could be a really interesting fuel strategy, though. Behind car number 71. It'll be nice to get off these tires. Pits are open. We had about seven laps of fuel left, so it could go a little longer. I don't know if we're going to be able to stretch it how we need to to one stop it to the end though. That's going to take take uh, quite a bit of fuel saving. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Alright. 54.65. Wow, okay, never mind. <laughs> A ton of them all at once. I'll get out just ahead of us there. John gained some spots. So I'm going to our left, entering the pit, so. I gained a little bit of ground on us, and that helped him do that. Need to be saving immediately. 47. 94. Hmm.
if we can make it like the full tank here, then we should be able to make it to the end, I think. Full course yellow. Pits are Look at Warren's tire, 66, 67. So much easier on entry, I guess. Even though he was entering harder. Although, is that because we were entering too hard earlier? That could be it. I think we really got to ease up on the entry this time around. So that's clearly where he was able to uh, get past us. Let's continue saving some more. We're going to get restarted with, I think, 90 to go. Yes. So, whenever that happens, we're going to want this to still be above 45, which I think it should. We should be able to one stop to the end, but it could be a little close. We're going to go as long as we can on this next tank of gas, and then go to the end, hopefully. Yellow. We'll see if any cautions have anything to say about that, though. wonder what happened. Could have easily just been a, a spin with how difficult this is, especially in the exits of the corners. So right now we're back uh, where we started, here in fifth place. Oh, that's right. Single file restarts. We don't get to uh, do restarts very often in this series, so I tend to forget. So clean, <laughs> so often. So we're going to take the short way around here, and then we'll line up on the outside. I think we're about a lap to the good. That is to say, to make it on one stop. Tracy way far back from the pace car. We're racing. P5. All right, maybe learn something from Warren here on how hard to enter the corner. He clearly has a better understanding of that early on here. He's kind of just getting on the brakes a little bit more. There, okay. Be a little softer on the exit. Okay. Wouldn't mind riding here for a while to help him pace me. Or, you know, to help myself from overdriving the entry. Using him to pace myself. Great reference point. See there, I probably would have overdriven that. I'm going to try to avoid doing that this time. Time was at 
going to be even more gentle on the throttle on exit as well, because I did not like how hard that thing was to control late in the run last time. Just done a 33.9. Things are going well, I think. I'm happy with where I am in the top five. I think we've got a good long run approach this time. Andrew right behind us. He seems to be kind of chill as well. P5. Not worried about him running me over or anything. Warren going around. We might have to take advantage of this opportunity. Okay, Colton. The next car is. Can. Yes. Doesn't look like it. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Your lap time was 33.9. Basically getting some pressure this time around. That could be interesting. Is that Ian up there? I'm not sure, actually. Chuck, that's right. That lap time was 33.9. Right, here we go again with uh, John on the outside. He's backing off this time. Appreciate that. Warren, Warren's moving forward. P4. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 0.9. Let's see Andrew back there going to the high line. I didn't like how that felt earlier, although that could be just because I ruined my right front. Way too bad for it to be viable. I think he was probably just uh, getting around John, though. Probably just using it for the one corner. Right. That was a thirty-four point one. Just keeping it smooth for now. Andrew got through the center of the corner much better than I did there. I probably underdrove it. Colton, your lap times are pretty consistent. Might have to let Andrew by. He's looking faster right now. I'm not really trying to be fast. I'm trying to do better long run this time. And Warren's going up there. <laughs> He's going to challenge for the lead, apparently. 
you kind of picked up the pace and uh it's looking like it might pay off not sure where he's gonna be long run but he was pretty darn good the first run at the end How are we on fuel? About 32 laps left by the time we get to the line here. Yeah, I haven't moving his way forward. He's in seventh back there. struggling to do the math because I'm too busy doing the driving. These cars are so fast down the straightaways you don't have much time to look at your numbers. That was a good one, too. I wish I could replicate that every time. That felt like a good approach. About two seconds ahead to Tracy, and then all three of those guys all pretty close by one another. About 28 laps. Should be good for us. We got to make it to 90. I think we're good on on track to do that. Just a just right there it looks like. Right about where we need to be. You've just done a 34.4. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Looks like Warren may be falling off those guys. Maybe he went a little bit too hard this next run. The gap ahead is now 1.4 seconds. We'll see. We'll see how it develops. They're pretty much the same distance ahead they were a few laps ago. Seems to be keeping pretty consistent.
I've been wanting to see Chuck maybe go to the inside of Tracy and see if he can bring him back to us a little bit, but I think Chuck's being real smart. He knows that there's no reason to do that right now. Unless he's being held up. And uh, I don't think he is. The gap to Phipps behind is increasing. It's now 0.8. A little bit too sideways on exit for my comfort. I want to wait to get it to full throttle a little bit longer. Warren back within a second. So we are slowly crawling forward. I think we have done better long run this time. Halfway in the race. All right. The gap in front is now 1.0. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. What I really should have done a long time ago is put my brake bias back in the car. I thought about it, but I was just not doing it for some reason. It's a minor thing, but it could help. was a 34.7 Ooh. I thought for a second they were going side by side. Not quite though, not quite yet. That lap was a 34.8. The gap in front is now It feels pretty good. It gets a little bit loose on exit sometimes, but I think it's going to be much better handling than it was after that first run. Lap traffic, making things a little interesting there. Held high just fine, but still tough to alter your line when it's uh, already on edge. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Seventeen laps. Uh, we're kind of borderline, to be honest. It's got me a little bit worried, but I think we'll be okay. Even if we end up 89, it's not end of the world. We can stretch it a little bit longer the next run by just fuel saving some more, but that's not really what we'd like to have to do. Warren within half a second now. Tracy about a second up. Got two seconds back to Andrew. Getting closer to pit stops though, so 
Our tire advantage isn't going to last all that long. bit loose there. That last lap was a 34.9. We are catching. How's it going to work getting around now? You've just done a 34.9. The gap behind has now decreased to 0.2. Thanks, man. Had to get out of the corner before I could talk. It's focusing. All right, so Tracy point six up, getting closer to the end of this fuel run though. P three, that was a thirty five point zero. Your lap times are pretty consistent. Ooh, almost danced it up into the wall. We're okay. Feels good to have made, made all this progress. And uh, I'm thrilled that uh, we've actually been able to make an adjustment and be better long run here. That after that first run, I was just toast, man. That caution came out at a good time. As soon as possible was the good time. Okay, about 10 laps until it's time to fuel, and we got about 10 laps left of fuel. Right down to the wire there in terms of fuel. Use up a little bit of that right front. I think we've got some to spare now that we're getting close to pit time. That's five minutes of fuel left. Right on his back bumper. Fortunately, that means we can't enter quite as hard as we have been. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. P3. I don't know what we're going to do now that we're here, though. We tried the high line last run, and it was not working. And even with better tires, I don't think it's going to make enough of a difference. 
to suddenly make that viable. Maybe we just try to have a good pit stop? I don't know. Whoa, Tracy getting very sideways. Holds on to it, but sure that wasn't too good for him. You've just done a thirty five point three. I think we've stalled, unfortunately, now that we've got here. Not sure what else we can do. Two minutes of fuel remaining. Okay, Colton, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. That lap time was 35.1. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Huh. One Got some people remaining. pitting in. It's a little early for me, I think. Making sure that wasn't uh, anybody ahead of us. I'd be ready in case they put it in the chat or something. Very close. That was a 35.2. Very little fuel left in this lap. Box this lap. Same box this lap. <clears throat> Do we go in now? I think we might. Whoa, Tracy just doesn't even say anything. I thought he was hitting those barrels for a second. Really easy on entry, but it's okay. 62, 65, so much better this time. Watch your mirrors. This time counts, so we gotta get off pit road quick. Point three behind Tracy. How much will we gain? by the guys uh, who went a lot further. Now. Seventh position.
Shark just now in the pits. P3, Pedda is now in the lead. Going a little bit harder here. I don't know if that should be what I'm doing though. B2, we're quickest at the moment. I think we're good on fuel. 43. Yeah, suddenly we got the sun in our eyes over here. At he's pulling away. I think uh, what I need to do, though, is just be good to the right front, because I caught them from a while back last run. If I can keep it closer but still protect the right front enough, maybe that's my chance. We'll see. Tracy's just so good, though. Having five seconds on Chuck... It's pretty crazy, especially since he's only got two lap fresher tires. That's a long way to come back. That lap time was 33.9. We're good on fuel by a little bit. The gap to Pedder ahead is increasing. It's now 0.9. So it was 62.65. It's very interesting. How do we got the 20 or the 74 in the wall up there? don't want Tracy to get too far away. This is, it's really tough to balance here. Cause I don't want him to get too far away, but I don't want to kill my tires either. The gap to Pedder ahead is now. I think I got to enter a little harder into three. You get such good grip over here. Lots of smoke up ahead. I think the 74 maybe hit the wall again. Your last lap time was a 33.7. Okay, Colton, your lap times are pretty consistent.
<laughs> Fight in the car. That's for sure. I don't know if the car's going to feel very good at the end of this run, though. Kind of trying to balance my two runs. The first run, I was fast, but killed my tires. Second run, I was good on the tires, but not quite enough to get around them when I needed to. Let's see what we can do. Time was at thirty four point zero. Whoa, something going on up there. Careful, we've got a full course caution. All right, well, the base car's out. Line what was that? File behind car number zero seven. We're under caution. Pits are closed. We'll put some new tires on it and try again. We'll lose the gap behind us. But that's all right. Pits are open. More of a sprint to the end here. Still gonna have to save tires a bit, but oh, almost shifted. We're going too fast. Oops. Look out for the pit speed limit. The leader header is pitting. Basically qualified ahead of me, so don't have to worry about. Again. I'm pitting first. Ninety-three, ninety-two. I tried. So no worries about the fuel anymore. What's happening? Pits are open. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we got some two tire call. <laughs> That's funny. It worked at Phoenix really well. I don't blame them for trying. Those guys ahead, going for the track position. That could be that could be good if they uh, their tires aren't that old anyway. It's the Nevens, <laughs> both of them up here. That's funny. What else to call that but the Nieben strategy here, staying out, getting the track position? Depending on where they started, that could be a good move. Where they were before the caution, anyway. I don't think we're going to use all our tires, though. Still have another two sets in less than 30 laps to use them. I think we tried to take advantage... <laughs> no, booger guy strength, what the heck? Yellow. Pits are open. Yeah, Nick did me fit and I missed the pit, so uh look out, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> We're going green next time by. Tires aren't that old. Only about 10 laps. 
I don't think they're going to be that bad. I think we should be able to get by them, though. <laughs> yeah. It used to that. No, no, back to when a car just explodes. That's what these arcade bodies are all about. We're in the Gen 4, but it's still the arcade body. All right, here we go. I think it's like 28 to go. Let's go. P4. We're going to go around the outside. I'll take that. Worked out pretty darn well for us. Wasn't sure if where he was gonna be. P two, your lap time was thirty three point eight. Gonna take our time, be nice to the tires, we got the track position we wanted. Hold him up, Nick. I need you here. You're now in the lead. New fastest lap for Club, 33.1. That lap was a 33.3. This is going to be tough, though. This is not over by any means. Tracy is crazy fast, especially... Well, especially all the time. <laughs> There's no especially here. He's just fast. So... Oh, that was terrible. What am I doing? All right, Colton, we're matching race pace. Your lap time was 33.2. Got to get it together. Almost feels like the track is a little bit tighter at this point. Might be the sun going down. It's throwing me off. Need to stay lower. He's so fast. This is going to be a problem. That lap was a 33.3. Shoot, he's there. What is this car doing? I can't freaking drive this thing up here, apparently. Just gonna slide through the whole freaking corner. Why is there no grip up there? P2, that lap time was 33.8. You're halfway home. It should be about 20 minutes of fuel left.
That lap time was 33.6. I don't think that Highland's gonna work. I wish it would, though. Twenty to go. Uh, maybe that high line will work. We'll see. Full course caution, be careful. Oh man, really? Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero seven. The pace car is out. Pits are closed. I think we just do the opposite of what Tracy does here, maybe. I drove those tires hard. Pits are open. If we do pit, I'm taking a bunch of fuel. Your speed limit in the pits. We'll I'm need not. to stop again to get to the end. Did everybody seriously go? We're gonna get a lot of two tag calls, I bet. 93, 94. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm good with how I'm doing this here. Hopefully not too many two-tire calls. Okay, just a late maybe. One of the rare times we have a lot of tire sets to use in this series. And I uh, wanted to use it. Enough time left in this race, I think uh, that might be smart. Oh, he's got it in front of me. There we go. So Leighton have some damage on the back there? Is that just that logo? I'm not sure. Looks kind of scuffed up maybe. So that worked out really well for us. Those two guys are lapped down and pitting, so we're going to be restarting here fifth, I believe. First guy on fresh tires, not counting a Leighton who's on two tires. Plus we put the fuel in this thing, which I think will help us. I did put the fuel in, right? Yes. Which is what I wanted to do. We're going to take the hind line, I think, in 1 and 2 again. I really liked how that worked last time. But apart from that... <laughs> that Miami sunset... Too close to the equator here in Miami. <laughs> Pits are open. Yeah, me too. I have to agree. I was really expecting the top to give us more time, but every time I go up there, it's just like it's on no grip at all. Okay, Colton, get ready. All right, we're gonna use the we use the top on the restart. It's about the only time I think we can use it.
it's so much worse in real life, so I guess I'm thankful that it's not completely simulated. Because in real life, it like the glare on the windshield is so much worse. And of course, it actually burns your eyes and hurts your eyes. I'd be closing my eyes down the whole front stretch. Have to wear sunglasses or something. All right, here we go. 15 laps to go, I believe. Hopefully we can see the leader just fine. Green flag. P5. I worked the last restart, but it did not work here. P4, your last lap time was a 33.9. Wow, this thing is hard to control. Coming up on Shane here. Ian taking us three wide? No, not quite. We're matching race pace. Oh my god, are you kidding change. me? That's okay. We've moved forward a little bit, still got better tires. Will they take tires now? Pace car's out. Line up single file behind car 88. We'll see, we'll see. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. I don't know. It's pretty fast. That's not true. Full course yellow. That's not true. All right, well, Chuck looking like he's not playing on pitting. Yeah, they're not. I don't think we try the high line again. It worked before, but that time there was nothing. No grip whatsoever. This is also helping their old tires get cooled down, though. Yeah. We're not going to have too many laps left. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Figure out why they build these racetracks. 
We're under caution. Pits closed. Uh, how many laps are we gonna have left? So, let's see here. Five, nine, nine to go. And is it gonna be eight to go? I guess. Something like that. So, that's not very much time. Especially if they get a good jump, I mean, single file, you can make it harder as well. We got fast guys behind us too, we can't forget about that. Well, let's get in line. See what happens. We need it to go green, though, I think. Almost definitely need it to go green. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Don't want to mess this up though would really stink to have the end of the season end with uh, me doing something dumb so I'm gonna give it my best here but not gonna go crazy wreck myself or anybody else be an ugly way to go out of the season here visuals just changed a little bit I guess it's officially nighttime got the nighttime lighting yeah. All right. Probably going to be the final run here. Green flag, we're racing. P3. All right, use the middle lane. Clear him. We're gaining. Is it going to be enough, though? We're coming to six to go. We're quickest right now. That lap was at 33.1. Oh yeah. We did it. We did that. Okay. Made the high line work one time. That's all we needed. Now let's hold on to it. You're in the lead. That was a 33.2. Now let the tires work for us. Don't need to overdrive it. We've got the tire advantage, so let's let that work. Yeah, 
Full course caution. And that's it. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind the pace car. We're under caution. Pits are closed. We can see Phipps. Unfortunately, we'll end under caution, but we got it done. Dang, the pit strategy worked out for us. Uh, oh. Absolutely. Great race, guys. That was fun. And a great season. Warren gets the top 10. He had a great day today, though, too. I thought he was going to go. Woo! <laughs> Strategy helped me out with this one. I don't know, I don't know if I was going to be fast enough otherwise, but... It worked out. <laughs> Wanted to let Gavin uh, speak and stuff. I thought Warren was going to go up and win the thing for a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Course yellow. Pits are open. Yeah, sometimes it just ends up that way, man. Always feels like you're doing the opposite of what you need to do. That's usually me. We're under caution. Pits closed. All right, we'll finish up our pacing and then do hopefully a good burnout for once. Stink at those. <laughs> So we've had a we've had a lot of races uh, end under caution this season, just kind of how it goes sometimes when you've got uh, no green white checkers. Yeah. Make sure I don't mark Martin this thing. <laughs> yeah, we get spoiled in the league racing, that's for sure, when you get that uh, official. So we finish off the season in style. We were able to get the win. Get the win after clinching the championship last week. And John was on a tear for a while there. He still was competitive every week, too. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Yeah, probably going to be a league drought um, through the holidays. I think both Nick and Gavin planning to do that. Makes sense.
Well done, Colton. Great win. You deserved that today. Hey, we did it. I'll go in the pits. All right. I will not be letting the pace car by. What just happened? Something happened back there. <laughs> John doing a little spin out. We're going to go ahead and try to do a decent burnout for once. All right. Ooh. That homestead, I didn't think I was going to get it done today. I was not feeling too great, but the strategy worked out for us. That was very fortunate. Ooh. See if we could do... See if we could like do one of these. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe getting better at it. And we'll park it on the start finish line, get the flag, you know, all that good stuff. Do our interview. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, right? We did some we did some spins. Oh, I guess this isn't gonna matter. It's gonna be <laughs> after we're burnouts. But we kinda like did some like a big M. On the on the front stretch, I don't know what that stands for. M. What, what would that be? Made a win. I don't know. Oh, flip it upside down. It's to the crowd. It's uh, W for win. There we go. Totally intentional. All right, we'll see then. The incidents. Get our camera adjusted. Da -ba -da -ba. There we go. Now I'm gonna find out after the race that my uh, my new audio settings and software like completely destroyed the audio and I can't upload this. That's gonna be the best part. <laughs> so wow, after that blink at the start, just a huge jump all the way to lap 38. Just a car on the wall too. Nothing too major. Gonna happen at Homestead. If you got guys trying to run the wall and the and the setup's gotten tight. Lots of things happening on lap 38, apparently. Man. Oh, is this just tires getting old right about this time? That's probably what it is. Moving right along. Whoa, the 74. Oh, oh no. I thought uh, we were all good, and then it looked like maybe something happened to John over there. Oh yeah, that tap got him uh, all kind of uh, unsettled. The weight di distribution it looked like, because it's a tiny tap, but you'll see it pushes him to the right, and then you can see it makes him hook a left. I am assuming that probably did something with uh, like pushing the car one way and kind of just having an elastic effect almost because I'm sure if you were to look in the cockpit yeah he's turning right he's not wanting to do this at all so fortunately that moves him over and then there is a wreck 74 gets turned tiny tap to start it but unfortunately it kind of uh, elevated as it developed moving along Got him on pit road for uh, showing that for some reason. Lap 65, Chad getting into the wall. Turn one and two. Turns one and two. Unbelievably tight. I think it's that wind. Like I was talking about, we had 12 to 15 mile an hour wind over there, and that might have been why. That turn one and two were so much tighter than three and four. And even three and four were still tight. Just because you're going so fast into these corners, going almost 190. But really not uh, much to see. Oh, I love that paint scheme. Yeah, rest in peace, Ken Squire. An incredibly legendary figure in NASCAR, and unfortunately just passed away uh, today, I believe it was announced by the family. So, 
That's a great scheme. I love that. Little tribute he made. So lap 82. Uh, I think we're getting tires getting old again, so we will move ahead a little bit further until we see some real action. This was a little scary for a second. Tracy I felt like he had a very late decision to pit. I wonder if he was waiting to see if I was going to pit. No, he was already deciding. Okay. So he was just trying to um, catch us off guard, I think, with the undercut. And it might have been a good idea. I definitely uh, was planning on coming in the whole time, get the one lap undercut. I thought for a second he was heading for those barrels. I was looking scary for him, but he's able to hold on to it. <laughs> Crazy entry there. Got more people coming down. Whoa, John, John coming from the top lane. That's interesting. He might not have realized that uh, this John was that close. He might have thought he had an empty track and therefore could kind of get away with that. 74 trying to make it to pit road, but oh my god. Oh, he did it. That was, what a save. That was excellent. <laughs> nice, Nicely done. I thought for sure he was hitting the barrel or spinning out or something, but he managed to hold on to that somehow. Chad, oh, oh, this was the wreck, wasn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, Chad just gets it sideways. That stinks. I think it's that seam must have bit him because you could see he's uh, going along just fine. He kind of gets on that seam, though, and he's already yawed out a little bit. And he's probably gassing it up a little bit more, exiting the corner. And it's not wanting to let his left front go, it, it almost looks like. But it just pushes a little bit too far and can't uh, gather it together. And unfortunately, there was a, a Ryan there. And uh, this was the wreck we kind of had to avoid, moving down low. Unfortunate for both of those guys. Chad looked like an honest mistake getting loose on the exits here. We, uh, every person in this race knows uh, that uh, the car was very, very loose out there. And uh, even Ryan himself knows it, it looks like. Oh man, John gets into him too. Nick falling back. Whoa, whoa, no. That was Kevin. I didn't even know that happened. So this was the wreck kind of closer to the end here. That was the end of the race for Kevin, unfortunately. Yeah, so we do get a caution for this, I believe. So Nick uh, didn't have tires on it. So you got guys flying up. Nick's holding his line up top. John makes his way through. And then I don't think that uh, Nick expected Kevin to be coming through. Kevin kind of goes down there, maybe a little bit high. Maybe Nick didn't realize they were going to be three wide. Because it's looking like he was turning down like he didn't realize he was there. He very well might not have realized he was there because he got the three wide call here. And then it says two wide. And then probably doesn't even know. We'll see in his video. We'll be able to hear what happens. But very unfortunate for Kevin. Just really hard racing with uh, not very many laps to go. Lap 122. Oh, that's a Leighton getting tagged. And another one of those late cautions we had. Oh my god. Unfortunately, not everyone able to avoid it. So, Alayton was on two tires, if I'm not mistaken. Trying his best to hold on to it, and that thing is loose. And uh, Dakota, not quite ready for the difference in speed after he gets loose there. And unfortunately, just the smallest tap is all it takes. Somehow able to get around him like that. That was a quick um, twitch of the wheel to get around him on the outside, but just barely able to go around. I'm going to get a look at uh, Gavin's car too. Sorry, quick diversion. This thank you, Dr. Pepper car. How nice.
Thank you, Gavin. Excellent, excellent league series. Really awesome. So much fun to be a part of, so. That's fun. That's a nice little scheme you put together. Thanking the members and everybody of being a part. Layton goes around and then somebody finds him much later. I believe it was... Yep, it was Alan. Oh, deer in the headlights. I think he just couldn't decide which way to go. He sees him sliding up there. I think for a second maybe it looks like he's turning down. And so he's like, all right, I got to follow Dan through to the outside. And then he's like, I'm not going to make it. So I got to go to the left and ran, runs out of time. It happens. You get that kind of deer in the headlights feeling and uh, that can happen that stinks so that was the penultimate caution here we got the restart oh a little bit of a check up here to start off oh shane spun his tires up i think even dakota maybe a little bit as well looked like they both maybe had those rear tires hot yeah both of them a little bit that checks them up and i think john's thinking about going to the inside and uh it almost looks like he kind of gets uh higher in the rpms yeah i don't think he's turning to the right you can kind of hear the engine pitch up. I think maybe it's uh, he's getting higher in the RPMs and it's spinning him up a little bit on the rears. And it's just enough to tap Andrew. You can see guys all stacked up here. Really thankful that didn't turn into a wreck. Uh, I was not going to be able to get around otherwise. So coming to, is this five to go? Yeah. Nick gets loose and into the wall. And that was it. And then this is the thing that's a uh, <laughs> the thing that happens at the end. I think he was trying just to give him a, a tap for fun. And uh this car does this car says no fun allowed. You just can't hit the uh front or back. So bit of a strange ending there for those guys. But uh I think that is going to be it. I want to kind of look at uh, that final restart, the one that got us the win. I think that could be fun to watch. All right, so we get launched here. I get a pretty good jump, modulating my throttle just a bit so I'm not running into the back of them and so I'm not burning up my tires quite as much. I ended up choosing the middle because I want to do use my tires to my advantage, but the high line just wasn't working for me all day, except for that one restart, so. Uh, go in the middle and it works out. I don't think we're able to quite clear him to enough degree there, so I end up going the high line here. And uh, that worked enough for me to get the runoff and clear him, and that's all I really needed. In fact, he got loose there, so that might have helped out a ton. Then we're just running them down. We got the better tires. I think he's faster on even tires. We go with the high line there. I wanted to try to get a run, and it's it actually works. The fresh tires actually worked out for us there that time. I was brave and stayed pretty high, close to the wall. And I was like, if this is going to work, I'm just going to have to be very brave with this high line and really commit. And... Uh, it worked out one time for us pretty much. I think that it helps to have the tires up to temp just a little bit better. Gets us that run, gets us to the inside. And that's exactly what we needed. We needed that run. So we cut to the inside. Make sure we leave room and that is enough for us to clear them. And then once we had that position, I think, um, I think we were in Smoothsville. We were all good. So that was all nice and well. And uh, I guess that will do it for this one. So we already know where the championship standings ended up. We have uh, finished first there, which is awesome. And uh, we'll look at the race results page to see all the numbers, see the fastest laps, all that good stuff. 
and that will be right here before we wrap it up for the Diet Dr. Pepper series. So Ian with the fastest lap, he actually ties with us. That's really funny. Tie for the fastest lap time. I wonder how th that works. I guess he's probably got another decimal down here <laughs> that's faster. That's crazy. So we only le lead 10 laps, but we led the one that matters most. And that was uh, at the end of lap 134. Same amount of points as Tracy, despite us getting the win. And that's because he got most laps led. You can see going through the field here, Gavin finishes 7th. I swear he finishes 7th a lot. I feel like I see the 77 in 7th a whole lot. I wonder if I were to go check the history of it, if that would play out. Nick, I think, I think his strategy must have worked really well. Because he got laps led from that, from staying out and leading some laps. He also ended up in 8th. So that track position, I think, really helped him, because I don't think he was in the top 10 before that. I could be wrong. I'm definitely going to watch his video on it, see uh, his path. But uh, he started all the way back in 25th, so he moved forward a whole bunch. But uh, you can see the rest of the field here, including the couple of guys who had some issues. And then uh, Jeremy, I think, maybe changed his mind. Maybe he didn't realize it was a, a full 134 laps. Wasn't quite ready to commit to that. But... Uh, yeah, that should do it, I suppose. That is going to be the end of the Diet Dr. Pepper series. Okay, I thought I thought I hovered over this for a second and it said second split. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No. Uh, that will be the end of the Diet Dr. Pepper series. Unbelievably fun. You've heard me say it a thousand times already, but that is because it is a thousand times true. It has been excellent, and uh, I'm so thankful to have been a part. And uh, very grateful and... Uh, thankful to everybody that makes the races so much fun. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, we'll be back. I think Gavin's going to be doing another season in the future, but probably next year sometime. So, after the holidays. Hope to see you there. Hope to see you um, for some official racing. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.